Hey, welcome back to another coding challenge video. Today we're going to be doing print the elements of a linked list from HackerRank in C Sharp. So this guy, pretty straightforward. We're going to be dealing with the linked list. If you don't know what that is, pause the video and go look at the tutorial really quick. They're pretty simple. Basically, it's just a string of these things called nodes and a node. All it is is that it's something, it's an object that holds some sort of data and then a reference to another node. And by doing that, you basically have a bunch of nodes that are stringed together by their references. So long story short, we're going to be given a linked list and we're going to print out the data from each node from the head to the tail. Um, something important to note is that the head pointer can be null. So we'll have to check for that before we try and access the data. Um, some other things, constraints, there can be up to a thousand things in the list and everything, every data in the node can be between one and a thousand. So nothing too crazy. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, we don't want to modify anything in this list. This is going to be basically a read only operation. We only want to read and print out the data from our list. We don't want to mess with it at all. And so we're going to make a variable that we're going to use to look at every single node and make sure we're not uh, messing with the node directly. So that's going to be of the type singly linked list node. And if you remember from the other linked list video that I did, this is not a standard data type in C sharp. This is something that this problem created. In fact, if you, I learned if you expand this right here, we can actually see this class being um, defined up here. So that's that for you. If you care to look at that. So we'll go ahead and make something called node, which is of type singly linked list node. And we'll set it to head because that's the first thing we want to look at. So first things first, we're going to want to check if what we're looking at is null. And if it's not null, we'll print the data and then move on to the next thing. So we want to keep doing that as long as what we're looking at is not null. So anytime we need to do something a certain number of times, but we're not sure how many times, that pretty much is a big flag that we're going to be doing with a while loop. We're going to be doing something up to a certain number of times, but we're not sure how many times. If you know how many times, for loop. If you don't know how many times, while loop. So while the thing we're looking at, which we called node, is not null, because if it is null, we know that we are at the end of the list and we have no more data to print. So while it's not null, what we're going to do is write the data, node.data, to the console. And notice I did write line as opposed to just console write. And that is because in the problem statement, they ask that we print everything on a new line, every data on a new line. So at the end, we're going to say, let's shift our node to look at the next thing. And so we don't have to worry about if next is null. That's fine because at the end of the loop, it will recheck to see if node is now null. And if it is, then it will exit the loop. So this is all we have to do. We have, let's go ahead and run this and make sure we didn't spell anything correctly. It looks good. Run against all the test cases. Okay, that's it for this one, short and sweet. If you have a better way of doing it, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.